Students asked about their sexual preferences. A local middle school teacher's worksheet is spurring outrage among some parents. Sexuality for me is kind of like religion. It shouldn't be in the schools. The principal stopped the teacher from handing out the paper, but not before it caused a big stir. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is outside Denaire Middle School with reaction all new here at 6. It was part of a getting to know you exercise, but some parents and district leaders say that getting to know you exercise may have gotten a little too personal. It was the first day of school at Denaire Middle School when a seventh and eighth grade science teacher handed out this worksheet called the gender unicorn. Well, I think a lot of parents are really upset about that. This is what the gender unicorn looks like. Parents we spoke with are upset about these questions. What are you sexually and emotionally attracted to? That is an extremely personal question. Superintendent Terry Metzger says the teacher who handed this out goes by the title Mix instead of Mr. and wanted the students to understand why. He uh, used a handout uh, to explain some of the components that make up gender. Metzger says the teacher didn't ask permission from the school principal to hand out the gender unicorn worksheet. I truly think he was just trying to clarify for kids. He just used the wrong tool to do it. The school principal happened to be doing rounds in the classroom, saw what the teacher was handing out, and immediately asked them to stop. Uh, when she saw the handout, felt that it probably wasn't appropriate. Parents we spoke with say this was not the time or the place for this discussion and something their kids felt was not an option. He felt like it was homework. He wasn't told that it was optional. I don't think that it should be a huge focal point in, in the classroom. There, there's a lot to uh, a lot to learn from this. So did this go against district policy? The superintendent says this kind of topic is required by state law to be discussed in health class, but not in science class. We did ask if this teacher will be facing any disciplinary action. The superintendent says she could not discuss those matters with us. We did reach out directly to this teacher, but have not yet heard back.